and record. Boom. Boom. You're the man. Yeah, g- g- good yeah. looking, good looking crew right there. Good looking crew. What's happening with you guys? We want to learn the, the magic bullet of getting more hot demos. Getting getting more what? Hot demos? Magic of creating hot demos. Yeah, dude. So there's uh, you know, I'll tell you what, man. A lot of lot of opportunity out there. You know, I see it every day. I get more amazed. Um, you know, like running out in the marketplace. The only the only way that you start seeing opportunities when you start like stirring it up. You know, it's like a like stick a stick in a fire. You guys ever do that as a kid? And you just like mm, you like freaking fling it, and it like starts getting all crazy. That's what it's like as a cold caller. Okay, but if you don't ever stick your stick in the fire, dude, and freaking bang that thing, dude, like you don't ever get the freaking flames going. You don't ever get the fire. Nothing ever happens, you know? So as a cold caller, like, man, dude, you, you, like that, that's what I'm thinking about every single day. I think about a lot of the fundamental things uh, that get so easy to lose sight of. And I think one of the things you guys want to talk about, you know, I, I mentioned something to Morgan the other day. I texted him and I said, Dude, quit trying to be Grant Cardone and be a freaking salesperson. So what I want to talk to you guys about today, if you guys are taking notes, at the top of your page, write this down. Work your pay plan. Work your pay plan. So there's a lot of things that make you guys money, and then there's a whole bunch of things that don't make you any money. Okay, so so some of those things that don't make you money are beneficial, though right? You want to do them. They help out. They're beneficial. That's why you guys are doing them. You know, they help for a number of reasons. Let's just talk about them too. Cause I don't want to make them wrong. Like I do some of the same things. Number one, running a free sales meeting for somebody. Dude, what, what are the benefits of that? You know, well, there's a lot of benefits to it. You know, number one, I'm giving somebody a free sales meeting. I'm giving them service, you know, um, man, it gets me motivated. You guys get more jacked up than the people that, that get the meeting. Like, you know, like when I, after I get done giving a sales meeting, I come off there, like I'm on fire, yeah. you know, um, you know, now like, but, but here's the deal, you know, like what's the end result, you know, what am I doing with that sales meeting? Is it once free sales meeting? And then, you know, like, dude, are, are you guys going to do a deal? Like I, this, I got to ask for the money before the deal, you know? So if I'm doing a free sales meeting for somebody, I need to say, listen, I'm doing a free sales meeting. At the end of that that meeting, I want to have a deal back on my desk. What's the likelihood of that happening? You know, well, if we like the meeting, we're going to do it. Yeah, good. Good. You're going to love the meeting. I'm telling you right now, you're going to love the meeting. I want to negotiate this deal right now because when you're done with this meeting, your people are going to be ready to go. And if you don't have the program, it's going to lose momentum and it's a waste of everybody's time. You know, so, so this goes back to everything. Certainty, man. Like, dude, what are you guys coming to the table with every single day? You know? And, um, and, and, and these are the things that I'm thinking about, like how many deals did I, I lose? Cause I didn't like freaking just lean all the way into the guy and like grab him by the throat and say, dude, listen, we're doing a freaking deal. Okay. Like I'm like, you don't even have to be interested. I'm doing the deal. You're signing the check. This is the pin. Okay. I don't care what, like, there's going to be objections. You know, so like I'm, I'm trying to get this mentality all the time because if I can get that, if I can get to that mentality and if I can think with that every time I come in, then, then all of a sudden things change, you know, and I start like I start thinking with deals, you know, and, um, and, and this goes to like servicing customers, you know, like when you guys think about servicing customers all the time, like what's the result? What is the result? So do you guys have other things you can sell cu- uh, customers? Like, what are some other things that you can sell them? What is it? Boot camp? Add-ons? Yeah, add-ons. What else? See, the problem with add-ons, nobody charges anything for them. Yeah. So nobody charges anything for the add-ons, you know? Like, you can use them as negotiating tools, but also you can use them to upsell somebody. You know? So, like, when I do a free sales meeting for somebody... Or if I go out to service somebody, like what is the result? If you're just doing free sales meetings to do free sales meetings, then you're wasting your time. 
because they bought a program that has 1,500 sales meetings in it. And I'm going to tell you that the guy in the program is way better than you are, right? And it's like, not, it has nothing to do with your pay plan. Your pay plan does not say free sales meetings. So like with my clients, like I've got opportunities maybe that you don't have. I need you to look for the opportunities you do have. Like I'm selling stuff every time I talk to customers. Now, maybe you don't have anything to sell, but what can you get? Hey man, if I come out there and do a free sales meeting, who can you line me up with? Okay. I need five people. I need five people that, you know, you feel good about. I know, you know, I know they're your buddies. You're probably doing barbecues with them on the weekends, man. Oh, I don't know anybody. Dude, who, who was the last guy you went to a 20 group with? I know people that went to a 20 group. You got to know people that have been to a 20 group. Maybe you haven't been. Who do you know? Man, let, let me come out there and do something for you, man. Let me get, hey, listen, if your people like it, can you give me a referral? You know, so, so like, what is the product? Get the product, work your pay plan. Your pay plan is deals. Your pay plan is deals, right? So this is where like, and just so you guys know too, like I've got my ass chewed for this, you know? Uh, I remember four years ago, Grant Cardone walked around and he's like, what the fuck are you guys doing in here? You guys sound like a bunch of trainers. You guys are salespeople. You guys need to get deals. You guys need to get opportunities. And you know, cause we were doing the sales meeting thing. And we were like, he's like, what, what, why are you guys doing that? I got all, I built the program for sales meetings so that way you don't have to do the sales meetings. That's why the program was built. And so you start to, you know, your clients will suck onto you and, and need you every single month like that. But what happens is they give up on the program. They don't use the program, but they like you. That's a problem. You need them sold on the program. So also you need to always be selling them on the program. I don't want to, I don't need to sell them on videos. I need to sell them on, Hey, you need to be fucking committed to training every single day. You know, so we got on to, um, you know, that sales meeting today, you know, Morgan was, uh, you know, texting me about, hey, show me a video. Dude, don't show people videos. Oh, I meant your video. Sorry. I barely show people. Oh, yeah. My video. My video. Okay. Well, that makes more sense. Yeah. <laughs> my bad. <laughs> but, it, but, but, but it worked out. You know, it's like you got to give them what they need, right? You got to give them what they want. Like, they don't know who Grant Cardone is or like, who, you, like you need to show them who it is. Like, that's fine. But I don't need to listen to the video. I don't need to watch videos with people. I need them, like your job. I just want you to look at your post. Like your post says, get people fucking excited and pumped and jacked about getting to the next level. And you need to sell them the solution, the, the, the answer to their problem. Their problem is that they're not good. Their problem is that they don't make money right now. People only buy things to solve problems. When you're selling a, a GM, or a, a vice president, he's writing a check. He's actually spending money with you. When you're talking to a sales team, you're selling them on actually doing the training, on being committed to it. Tell them your story. You need to tell them your story. Okay? Is 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 as good as you feel, and like maybe you like you know you don't want to tell people about your bad days. You need to freaking talk about them. People love me because I lived in a furniture store. People love me because I sold my freaking car and and rode the bus in freaking Miami and almost got shot every single day on my way to work with mis mix matching pants and, and suits and ties on. I had Jerry Glantz old pants on Grant Cardone's old jacket on. I don't even know where I got the tie. Okay. Okay. People love me for that shit. Okay. They can connect with that. They're like, dude, my, my freaking clothes mix match. I'm wearing my old daddy suit right now. Like I, they can make sense of that. You know, they're like, oh shit, that's me right there. So if you're trying to sell somebody, you need to sell them on that. You need to sell them on the opportunity, like where they can go. And the fact that Grant Cardone is the solution, you know, otherwise, otherwise they're like, yeah, man, I like what this guy's saying. That's pretty cool. Like you got to understand guys, they're, they're not like us. They're not studying every single day. They don't think that they're going to be a millionaire one day. They, don't, they couldn't even fathom that idea. It's not even, it's, it's not even, if, if you go up and ask these salespeople, like I'm not talking about managers right now. I'm talking about salespeople. If you go up and talk to the salespeople and you say, hey man, so like how long do you think till you, you hit the big M, you know, the big million mark, you know, like that's not even fucking real for these people in their entire lives. If you ask them about it, they couldn't even consider it. Some of them might even actually, they'll actually hit that mark and they don't even know that they'll do that. Right. So you need to understand like what you were seeing, like you had a pair of glasses on at that time that were average glasses, right? Where you could just like see like, dude, I got no shot, right? Maybe you're looking around, like you guys are different, right? Like we're all different. 
these people, like you got to push into them a little bit and you got to get them excited about getting out of the mud, you know? So like, if you're going to sell somebody or if you're going to do that part, like don't do the Grant Cardone thing, dude. Like you need to sell people on, on using the program, on videos, on training. I'm getting excited. Cause I will tell you that if you can get one guy in these companies, that was a guy like me. And they actually say, you know what? Dude, I'm going to dig into this freaking program, change my life. I don't care what the people around me are like. I don't care what their lives look like. I'm changing my life. I'm doing the deal. I like what this Grant Cardone guy says. And I double and triple my sales at the company. That makes a difference. Now you start changing lives. Okay. So Grant already built the training program. You don't need to train the people. You need to get people sold on the product. You know, so, so that's the difference. You know, that, that's the difference. You don't need to be the trainer. Grant, Grant's already doing that. Now, like if you're doing a sales meeting that gets you a deal, like, like, dude, that's, you're being a sales, like you're being a salesperson with a, a trainer hat on at that time. Right. So you're still a salesperson. So you still need to ask for a deal. Like, so you just got to see it. Right. And, um, and, and, and work your pay plan. If I could take, if you guys take anything away from this call, just know like work your pay, your pay plan is deals, you know? So like for me, I try to cut out all the bullshit. I get slammed all day long with just stupid shit. And like, I got to dodge it. I mean, like I'm, I'm doing this thing right now where I don't even look at my emails until five 30. I don't even, I don't, I don't even have it up. Cause I, that my, none of that has anything to do with me getting paid. So it's all junk. It's all bullshit problems, chat and you know, fuck it. Like I'm here to get deals, you know? So like, that's what I'm thinking about. Appointments get me deals. Right. So I got to be thinking with that. So I'll open this up, guys. What, what, what questions do you have? When you're talking about getting everyone sold on the program, what approach do you take when you're doing it? You guys got to speak up a little bit. I don't, I, I don't know why, but I can't really hear you guys that well. Yeah, he, he said, what approach are you taking? All right. Pass you back. Connie. So when you're selling these people on the training program, like, what's your approach? And like, what do you, like, how are you trying to get them to look at the program and how to use it. Like you go over your mindset and what you say and what you do to get them to do that. Yeah. So like, who's the guy that you're thinking with? Who are you calling right now? So automotive. Auto. Uh, automotive. Perfect. That's who I'd be calling. Okay. So how do you get somebody excited or like listening, you know? interest curiosity uh yeah curiosity okay so how do i create curiosity well dude i gotta i gotta i gotta teach somebody something i gotta tell them something that they don't know so like i gave i gave uh jared i gave jared this freaking pitch like how long ago did i give you that pitch a couple about three weeks ago three weeks ago no it was longer than that it was longer. yeah maybe longer i get it but how was it been working for you Okay, you got something. Oh, very good. So I'll tell you something. Listen, in automotive, a lot of things are very, very much the same across the board. Okay, things are flattening out. You guys agree with that? So can the dealers. I got to tell them that. Listen, guys, things are flattening out in automotive right now. Things are getting tougher. Margins were already getting compressed. We actually found three of the biggest problems in dealerships that were costing them the most money. Out of all the clients that we have, we found three major problems. Can I share those with you? Oh, but wait, hold on. Did you just tell me you didn't have time right now? I got to go. <laughs> now I'm just messing with you guys, right? So, but like you guys are all curious right now. Like you're perking up. You're like, whoa, whoa, whoa. like what, what, what is it? You're like, dude, what's fucking tell me? Like, hurry up and tell me. I can't wait. That's what you got to do with the GM, dude. John, listen, giving you a call from Grant Cardone's office here in Canada, man, where things are blowing up. Things are great. Listen, before I tell you anything, I'm going to tell you that we've got margin being compressed like crazy right now. The, the industry's flattened out. We found three major problems that every dealer had in a simple solution. You're, you're going to freak out when I tell you the solution. Okay. You know what problems those are? Can I share those with you? Okay. Number one, employee disengagement. Massive problem. Okay. Number two, follow-up. Everybody's got a CRM. Nobody knows how to use it. They don't even care to use it because they don't understand how it works. And number three, people just don't know how to close a deal, shut a deal down. We found three simple solutions to be able to handle this. You got 10 minutes? 
I don't have 10 minutes. No problem, man. You got 30 seconds. I'll save you 10 minutes. Do it in 30 seconds. Can you get in front of a computer? It's cardinondemand.com. Go in front door right now. I'm going for 30 seconds. Okay, if you guys are asking for 10 minutes or, or 15 minutes or, hey, can we set up an appointment? Just like fucking hang up on yourself. You're not even in the, you, you're not even, you're, that's the name of your move in the cold call world. You know, like you're, you're looking for 30 seconds right now. You ask for 10 minutes. Like, look at this guy right here, dude. <laughs> like, dude, I put, I put on my goals right now. I put that I have Mike shield traps. <laughs> so you know like dude there's levels to everything so anyways i'm telling you guys look you gotta you gotta spark a story up man so when i'm giving a call john this is conrad calling you from grant cardone's office here in canada hey do you know who grant cardone is i, I want to get on common ground with them yeah i know who grant cardone is but we're not interested no problem you don't have to be most dealers right now across the board, they're actually got three problems. I can make up whatever I want to say on that. That's the beauty of it. I should have told him something that he can agree with. Dude, there's three problems we found every dealer had. You won't even believe what it is, okay? I know you know you have these problems. Can I share them with you? Okay, before I go, I'm going to hang up on myself, but can I share these with you? Okay, listen, motivation, employee disengagement, follow up three biggest problems in automotive today. It's the biggest reason dealers are flat right now. Okay. We found a simple solution to solve it. Okay. I don't need 10 minutes actually. Uh, but I do want to show it to you. Do you have 30 seconds? I'm going to roll into the deal. I don't need 10 minutes right now. I don't need a demo right now. I'm trying to sell the guy on looking like even being committed. Cause he it, like, this is a cold call, right? So if it's actually a true cold call, then the, the deal is this, like he has zero interest right now. He's not even thinking about it. Like there's the freaking little teeny tiniest fraction of an opportunity that the guy's like, whoa, Rick Cardone's office, dude. Yeah, you guys probably got digital training, man. Yeah, let me see it. I got 30 minutes. That never, uh, that'll never happen. <laughs> okay, so it, and if, if, you're a, if, if you're asking for a 30 minute meeting too, that shit like, this is not even, it's not even real, dude. You're leaving so much meat on the table. I'm going to go for like, hey, 10 minutes. Give me 10 minutes. And if you can't do it in 10 minutes, oh, yeah, hey, because they're going to say no to the 10 minutes. You know they're going to say that. But they're saying no to what you're asking right now. So this, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to back down. I'm going to say, hey, 30 minutes. Or uh, I'm going to do 10 minutes. Yeah, no, we can't do that. No problem. You got 30 seconds. I'll do it in 30 seconds. Okay, go to cardonautomain.com. And then you need to drop something hard in right there. You need to drop in, hey, if I, can't, if, I can't sell, if I can't sell you on this idea in 30 seconds, I'll hang up on myself. If I can't sell you on a million bucks in 30, 30 seconds, sir, okay, then, then I'm going to hang up on myself. Okay. Some certainty, you know. I'm bringing certainty to the game. This is where you guys got to push in but be certain about it. You push a guy up against a wall, you need to be certain and look him in his eyes that, like, hey, dude, don't mess with me. You know what I'm saying? But like, if you push him up against the wall and then you're like, and you're like, Oh shit, this guy's going to freaking knock my head off. Like dude, he's going to knock your head off. You know? So, so this is where you got to come in with that, that, that swag. All right. Um, the other thing, uh, another thing that's been working a lot, you know, I get, I get, I get, I gave this pitch to Jared. I'll, I'll let Jared say, it. can you, can you guys hear him good? Jared talk. When you guys, can you hear him? Yeah. Yeah. Hey man, he tells you, Thursday, M. I want you guys. Here. Here. Yeah, dude. I want you guys to do one thing. Okay, when you guys set the appointment. Okay, 2 p.m. Thursday. John, do me a favor. Give me 30 seconds right now. Go to Cardone on Demand. This is going to save you five minutes on Thursday. Nine times out of ten, they're going to go to the website. You're going to get into the demo right there. And it becomes so real. I'm going to drop the phone. This is the mic. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, so yeah. So, so listen, <clears throat> continuing to ask, right? Like, you're going to get more done in that 30 seconds or three minutes than you'll ever get later on. This is why, you know, a lot of times I've done demos for you guys. We show up. The demo is colder than the cold call was. 
I mean, dude, like I, I mean, like when I started looking, I started wearing fucking mittens to work when I seen that you guys put demos on my calendar. I'm like, God damn, dude. <laughs> I'm like, dude, the fucking, the demo's cold, dude. <laughs> the demo's cold. So, so I'm telling you, like, if you guys want to amp it up a little bit, uh, and I, and I made all these mistakes too, you know, so, but, but I can talk shit about him now because I had Grant freaking whack me over the back of the head when he walked by. He said, yeah, that was the worst demo ever. I'm like, what? So, so listen, you got to warm it up a little bit, right? You can't warm it up if they don't know what it is. If they're like, yeah, we would take a look at a training program. Just be like, sir, if you can't look at it right now, then I can't fucking take an appointment with you, right? Because I'm going to waste your time and my time. And I'm going to personally lose the deal for everybody. I need them to understand something about what we're doing. So I don't have to spend 10 minutes talking to them. And, and finally, at, at the 12 minute mark, they're like, Oh, so you guys do, oh, this is virtual training. Yeah, I don't need to do that. You know, they, they, they need to be through, there, there needs to be a lot of check mark boxes done before that meeting happens, right? Or else it's just not going to be a deal. And then your follow up, and then you're going to be like, dude, my follow up doesn't work. Well, it's like, it's your follow up can't work because there's never been a really good demo. There was a demo that they, the EP that they have at that point is what should have happened on the cold call. So, so this is how you move things forward, right? So front door is magic. The front door was built for you. It's, it's like your number one tool, better than anything else that you have. It creates more reality. Okay. What questions do you guys have? Steve, I've been asking for two minutes up front on the front, because I've just been doing the front door, because in case they actually say yes to the 10 minutes is there an intention with asking for 10 first uh, i mean i'm just you know if they're an actual real player then they're probably going to say no to anything i mean you know what i mean yeah if the guy's actually like yeah i got 10 minutes i'm like all right fuck i'm like on their <laughs> website i'm trying to find out who the actual guy is I'm like god damn it I'm like i got the, i got the i got the wrong freaking guy so I'm like, hold on, sir. I'm getting another call. <laughs> you know, it's like, so, you know, but it depends on your calling, you know. And I make jokes about that, but it's like, you know, like, yeah, you guys, two minutes, four minutes, it's all made up. You know what I mean? It's not a, like, I'm just expecting that they would say no to it. I would imagine that if there are anybody I want to do business with, they're probably actually busy throughout the day. And, and I'm not, I actually don't think that, most people, I think that most people that I want to do business with, they're not thinking about training all the time. They're thinking about uh, how do we get 10 more stores? Uh, how do we grow another $12 million this year? Like those, the people that I want to do business with, they're having those conversations. You know what I mean? So I, when I call them up and I'm like, hey, it's sales training. And he's like, what? Oh yeah, no, we should probably look at something like that. I actually don't think he's going to give me time at, at that point, but I'm going to reach for it. And I think I could get a guy sold on 30 seconds or two minutes or like three minutes or like, Hey dude, you got five minutes, you know? So that's really the only thing. I mean, the guy, I mean, but here's the deal though. Like you don't need to put yourself on a timer at that, at that time. If you ask for 30 seconds, that doesn't mean you hurry up your pitch. My pitch stays exactly the same. Hey, let me know when you get to cardinautoman.com. What do you see there? You know? And I run the play. And then I assume that, I'm going to get done with that front door pitch and I'm going to ask the guy, dude, it's 24 50 a month, six grand to get set up. Have you seen enough to make a decision? What? We haven't even been in the program. I understand. I know a guy like you, you'll make the right decision, whether it's the right thing for you or not. Have you seen enough to make a decision? Imagine having that conversation. You got money, price, pitch, product, the guy's reality on the whole thing, all out on the cold call and he's like, no, we need to see it. Imagine going into that demo. Imagine a guy showing up to that demo. Like you better not get off that demo. Like you got to ask for the deal a hundred times on that call because if you get to have that conversation and then they actually show up to a call, that's a deal. You know what I'm saying? Like they're bringing people with them at that point and that's how you get more deals. This is cool. Uh, can you do, can you actually, what else? Can we just role play real quick. I'll be a, I'll be a dealer and you do a front door pitch with a dealer on. Oh, 
on the beginning of the cold call. I just want to hear five bucks. Yep, hold on one second. Yeah, I'll, I'll pull up. Uh, All right. Cardo's. No, I got it. Oh, you got it? Okay. Well, I'm, 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 I'm the guy who's. I'm I'm the guy who's gonna be rolling through it, so all right, ready? Yeah, let's go. Hey Andrew speaking. Hello. Andrew, hey, it's Steve, Grant Cardone's office. How's it going? I'm doing well, Steve. How are you? Oh man, I'm doing amazing. Do you know who Grant Cardone is? Yeah, no, I know Grant. Nice. You guys ever done any business with Grant before? Uh yeah, way way back in the day I went to uh, went to some seminars. Now you went to a you went to a Grant Cardone seminar? Yeah, about twenty years ago. He was uh, he was up in Calgary. Oh wow, that's beautiful, man. It's uh, do you still listen to any of his material? Uh, occasionally. Yeah, well that's good. Well, you know sales trainers, right? I mean they're they're a dime a dozen. Yep. Yep. So Grant Cardone's been doing this for about thirty years. Okay, so so he's the number one sales trainer in the entire industry, but that's not what I'm calling you about. Andrew, what I'm calling you about today is a few problems in automotive I know you could agree with. Number one, disengagement. Employee disengagement is killing dealers right now. Number two, margin compression. Are you guys feeling that right there in Calgary? Oh, yeah, 100%. Yeah, exactly. Okay, number three, biggest dealership opportunity, follow-up. We got a solution to actually solve some of those problems for you guys. Do you have 10 minutes right now just to take a quick look? No, I'm, I'm I'm busy right now, man. Don't have uh, don't have time right yeah, now. Yeah, no problem. And you don't have to do it right now. Yeah, you don't have to do it right now. But if you did it right now, look, I could take 30 seconds. I'll show you another million dollars for your store. And you know, look, man, if I'll tell you this, if I can't show you a million dollars in 30 seconds, I'll hang up on myself. What do you say? Just pull up CardoneOnDemand.com. All right, we got Cardone on Demand. Okay, yeah, I'm there. Here, pause. Why don't you guys do that actually? Because um, I, I thought you were going to walk me through it. So I'm going to let you guys pull it up. All right. So, so you guys pull it up. Uh, okay. Are, are, are you, uh, can you do it on this screen? Yeah, it should be able to. Uh, oh, okay, cool. Okay. So, I want to do it from here so you guys can see it. And, and so that it's recorded on the steel. Because I'm going to do it the same way. I'm going to do it the same way every single time. All right. All right, man. Let me know when you get there. Yeah, I'm there. Do you guys want to put it on the the screen here so that way when you when this this recording that it's on there? Yeah. Uh, oh, just on our screen. Oh, where are you recording it? Or I think you're the presenter. Yeah, you're the presenter, Steve. We we could see it when you had your. Oh, screen. I got I got I got. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I I, I want you to control it. Uh, let me see right here. You gotta make up. Uh, Boom. Okay, can you see my screen? There we go. Wow, technology guys. Excellent. Yeah, I can see it. Okay, cool. All right. So yeah, I'm there. Awesome, man. Hey, what do you see? I see. Uh, see a nice photo of Grant. <laughs> that's great man yeah he's he's doing great okay that's grant cardone he's the number one sales trainer on the entire planet okay we train over two thousand dealerships on cardone on demand okay go ahead and scroll down for me all right now these boxes represent the categories that we provide training for and basically turn your people into masters and so if i were to open up one of these boxes for your people today, which one would solve some problems for you? Uh, def definitely be follow up. Follow up? Yeah, I love follow up. You see how many courses are there? Yeah, 132. Yeah, excellent. So, most dealers, the biggest challenge they have is getting their people to follow up. Okay, the biggest problem is that their salespeople don't know how to follow up, what to do, what to say. When was the last time you guys ran a sales meeting on the top 10 mistakes of follow-up? Couldn't tell you. 
yeah, it's, it never happened. No dealer runs that meeting, okay, unless they have our program. So we actually created that content so you guys could do that finally. Or they could just have your salespeople go through it by themselves. How many salespeople do you guys have? Uh, we got 12. 12 salespeople? Yep. That's amazing. And how many deals do you think they miss every single month just because uh, they're missing uh, opportunities with follow-up? You think it's one deal per person? Yeah, I mean, it's tough to say, but yeah, probably at least, at least that. Oh, okay, but you can agree with that. One deal per person? Yeah, minimum. Okay. Is that per month or is that per week? That's probably per month. Oh, okay, good. So we got 12 deals every single month, about 132 deals every single year. What do you guys gross per copy? Uh, front and back, we're looking at about three grand. Three grand? Well in Times 120. Yeah, yeah. So that's good, man. That's good for you guys. So what we're talking about right now, I mean, just on the follow-up, this one box, sir, would be worth about $175,000 to you this year. Okay, this program over three years is $54,000. Okay, I'm gonna get this thing paid off in the first 60 days on the program. Okay, it's six grand to get started. It's 2450 every single month. You can go month to month, turn it off whenever you want. Have you seen enough to make a decision just on the follow-up? I mean, I, I don't even, I haven't even seen the, seen the program yet, man. I can't, can't make a decision on that. Yeah, I know, but okay, well, good. We'll click into follow-up real quick. All right. Yeah, scroll down. Okay. And we've got we've got everything that you'll get just inside this follow up program, just so you can have some more reality on it. Okay, what's that top line say? Uh, it says how to increase callbacks back four hundred percent. How to increase callbacks four hundred percent? You think your salespeople would want to learn some information about how to get a four hundred percent callback? <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, exactly. So the only objection I ever get on this program, it's never price, it's never Grant Cardone, comes down to usage. Okay, so you think your people would want to watch training that has to do with getting callbacks increased by 400%. Yeah. Yeah, I love that. So that's how we got 45 million lessons trained on inside of this program. But what's that second line say for you? Learn the voice bill that is guaranteed to get a callback. That's awesome, man. Are, are your people making phone calls every day? Every day. Every single day. Love it. Okay, but but they're not phone salespeople. They typically don't get the type of phone training that they need or deserve. And what we have is an actual program that teaches them about today's customer and how to get callbacks because most of them aren't answering the phone anyways. So how would you get the right callback with a customer who we can't ever get them on the phone? You think they'd want to actually learn some information about that? Good. So in just that content right there, I mean, just the follow-up, we got an extra deal every single month per person. If we j only did the follow-up with you guys, you think your people would be more motivated if they were making some more money? I mean, yeah. Yeah, of course they would, man. Of course they would. So every dealer is worried about motivation, but the problem is that, look, it's, it comes down to the people just don't make enough money. So in addition to follow-up, if you look at those boxes down there, there's going to be 12 different boxes right down there. 13 actually, if I were to open up one of these boxes, in addition to the follow-up, I mean, which one of these do you know for sure your people would want to watch? Uh, definitely internet leads. Well, a lot, of, a lot of deals come through the internet today, but if you go ahead and click on it, okay, we're gonna go right into everything that they would learn there. I mean, how many leads do you guys get every month? About uh, 360. Of uh, 360 leads a month? Yeah. That's strong. So you guys get about, you know, four to 5,000 per year. It's unbelievable. Okay. Do you know what your uh, closing percentage is on this? Not enough. It's, it's probably like 1% if that. Yeah, good. So, so what we want to do is take that up to at least five to 6%. So, you know, we work with all the top dealer groups all across the entire world. And so for us, what we do is we provide them training and the proper scripts, which you'll get. You'll get templates and scripts to use in all the email responses. So in addition to your automated emails, what about your salespeople? Do they have to communicate via email on their follow-up? All the time. Okay. 
Now, I'm not saying this about your people, but I am suggesting that most automotive salespeople, they didn't go to a, a four-year Ivy League school. They're probably not very good at writing emails. Okay, if they're anything like me, when I started back in the business, man, it's dude, I couldn't even get my grammar right. Could yeah. barely dot a T, cross an I. Came and say it right. Yeah. Okay, so so this is what you're dealing with, sir. No wonder they don't want to make a follow-up email. They don't even know what to do or to say. They don't know how to say it because what they're saying doesn't work. And so what they do, they just abandon it. And they're like, oh, emails don't work. Oh, internet leads are bad. Right? So this is where this program solves a lot of problems for you. Let me ask you this, man. I mean, have you seen enough to uh, set up an actual 30-minute meeting where I get you and anybody else who would need to see this in a room to be able to see Cardone on demand for their business? Yeah, I'd say so. Who's the number one decision maker in the store there? Number one decision maker? Probably, uh, probably my GM, Mike. Your GM, Mike? Excellent. And what's he going to say about daily training? I mean, he, he's a believer in training. Excellent. So this is going to be easy for him. Yeah. Who's the biggest influencer in your dealer group, in your, in your dealership right there? So you and Mike, you guys both agree. Who are you going to next? Who's going who's gonna to have some influence on this thing? Probably my, uh, my GSM, Conrad. Oh, Conrad? What, what, what's the hardest part about Conrad's job? Just, yeah, you hit it on the head with uh, getting the staff to, to engage and actually do the follow-up. Yeah, the manager's biggest nightmare. Getting salespeople to show up on time, tuck their shirts in, keep them accountable, keeping them excited, you know, staying motivated, being happy with the leads, closing deals, asking for the sale one more time. I mean, let's not even talk about skipping steps in the process, man, so you probably hang up on me just from just for bringing it up. Okay, so 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 for Conrad, he's got a lot of issues. Now, can I get all three of you together in a room with the meeting? You guys see where I'm going with this call? Yeah. Okay. It's not always going to go like this. But I'm never going to stop. I'm going to keep pushing, 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 pushing. I might even say, hey, listen, dude, can you, can you pull him in your office right now? I mean, dude, we, we've been on this call six minutes and already found another 360 grand. I mean, would, would you stop them from what they're doing and actually set up a meeting right now? You know, like, ima like imagine the certainty on that. You know, these people are not just looking for like a, the next best product. They're looking for other good people, good companies, you know, like certainty. Like if like you are the person that should be most certain on this whole thing, like this is what you got to get in. You know, you can't just be the follow-up guy. Like you need to worry about being the certainty guy, you know, and, and, and this is where you guys need to look at all those testimonials and stuff. I see you guys sending them out. It's awesome job. You guys need to look at them all the time. And, you know, Grant all the time, he talks about, you know, don't listen to a quitter, you know, like that's the hardest thing is stay sold on your product. If you go back to sell or be sold, he's like, dude, the number one, the number one sale is you. Like, dude, if you guys look at it all the time, like your biggest problem because you guys never talk about it is probably you getting unsold on what you're doing there. Like, Fuck man. I'm going to do a sales meeting. <laughs> They'll say yes to that. You know, like dude, they don't want a sales meeting. They want deals. You know, they want their people to use the program. Think about ways to get them to use the program. Right. So the sales meeting's great, but like, think about it before you do it and just think about like, what, Hey, what's this doing right now? Just provide me and them value. You know, sales meetings, one thing, you know, getting them excited 10 minutes, like half the time I'm just pitching them on the program still, you know, I'll drop some nuggets here and there and then I'm going to pitch them about the deal, man. And then I'm going to freaking hammer the shit out of them. Dude, how much training are you guys doing right now? You guys have me come all the way out here to a sales meeting for you. You guys aren't even doing your training program. What's wrong with you guys? Okay. You guys got to wake up. You know, like you need to get used to saying that in front of a group of people. And you got like at least two motherfuckers in the back just eyeballing you like, who does this guy think he is? Coming in here, trying to tell me what to do. You know what I mean? You got that guy? It's crazy out there. Okay. But that's what gets like, because cause that's what the manager can't do every single day. That's when the manager's like, dude, this guy's, I like this guy. 
You know, he's not just another trainer. Like, dude, they bought a training program. You know what I mean? They don't, they don't need more training. Like they can't get through the training that they bought. You know, they need to be sold. They need to be resold on the program. You guys get on a manager call. You need to show them how to use the program. You need to sell the shit out of every little freaking thing on there. Okay. You guys get on a sales launch. It's just about selling people on sales training. I got to get them like, I got to get them turned on about it. I got to be like, Hey dude, this, this is right, man. It's, I'm gonna tell them stories, you know? Hey, that was, you know, Hey, I, dude, I was so broke. It's unbelievable. Okay. No money, no bank, no friends, freaking couldn't hold a girlfriend. You know, I don't know about you guys, but you know, a, a guy with $0 in his account has a hard time getting a girlfriend. Okay. That was me. Okay. But I changed it. Okay. Grant Cardone sales training. Okay. So I'm going to pitch that story. I'm going to tell something, right? I'm going to maybe make it funny a little bit. I got to get their attention. Attention is like the Holy grail, you know? So what, all right. What questions do you guys have? I need to roll off here and like, I'll give you guys five minutes, five minutes. You guys got another question. Those, those quick stories, Steve, yeah, you were talking about in the one salesman you did for the team on like those really short, tight stories to grab the dealer's attention and build reality real quick. Can you just talk on that for a sec? Uh, at the beginning? Yeah. Like you get a guy on the phone. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. Hey, Morgan, this is Steve. This, hey, Morgan, this is Steve, Grant Cardone's office. How's it going? I'm good, man, but uh, I'm not interested. Yeah, no problem, man. You don't have to be interested. What we found was that three problems are happening in every single dealer group in the entire world right now. Okay. And, and I'm, I'm calling to share those with you. I know, you know, you have these problems. Okay. But we've got a solution. Okay. Can I share the problems with you? Uh, we're, we're good, man. We got, uh, we got something in house to handle that right now. Yeah, no problem. So the three problems are actually disengagement for employees. Okay. They're disengaged. The managers, the managers have so many things on their plate that they can't even run sales meetings. And number three, freaking follow up. Okay. Every company in the world's got a CRM, but the salespeople don't know how to use it. So we provided a program that trains their salespeople every single day on how to get it motivated, how to understand money, how to get more sales. I mean, are you guys dealing with compression over there? I mean, your margins are probably freaking getting smoked right now. And so the only way you solve this problem, sir, and I don't even have to tell you this, but I'm gonna tell you anyways, is volume. So I know you guys are good, but in an industry where things are getting tighter and the only way you guys get better is if you go wider, you always need more. Am I right or wrong about that? Yeah, you're right, son. But uh, I don't got time. Yeah, to no problem, man. Right so now, listen, so I'm, I'm not looking. Yeah, you don't, yeah, you don't have to, man. I, I know you probably think I want a 45 minute meeting, but you know, if I asked for that, sir, I'd fire myself. Okay, what I'm looking for right now is about 30 seconds and you in front of a computer. Okay, are, are you standing next to a computer right now? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I see what you mean. <laughs> Excellent. All you got to do is pull up. All you got to do is pull up CardonOnDemand.com. After 30 seconds, if you haven't seen another million dollars worth of increase in your business this year, I want to ask you to do something. I want you to aggressively hang up the phone on me and block my number. We got a deal. All right, son. You got a deal. Excellent. Let me know when you get there. Steve, quick question for you. Yeah. <laughs> I find that I'm, I'm using Grant's rule of talking to somebody and I'm constantly talking to a manager or someone like that. And it's taken me a long time to go down a list. And I feel like when I talk to the manager, there's nothing really that results from it. So I was just wondering what your advice is with that. What's the goal at the end of a call with the manager and, and what would you, what, what would your advice be on that? Well, so explain the call to me. You're, you're cold calling somebody and you're telling them that, that you would talk to somebody? No, no, no. I'm just saying like when I go down a cold call list, like Grant's rule is always mm -hmm. talk to somebody, right? So if it's not the guy, then you go right. to, the, to the GSM, to the manager, to the salesperson, right? So I find that I'm making all yep. these calls. You know, I make 100 calls a day, but I'm talking yeah. to three people each call. It's, it's, it's yeah. <clears throat> Yeah. So everybody's got their own thing. Okay. At the end of the day, you guys are all going to go home as much as you love the, the guy next to you. Like you care most about yourself. Okay. When you go home, I doubt you're thinking, 
man, I wonder, I wonder how I can help Morgan make some more money. You know, you're like, fuck, dude, I need to make some more money. <laughs> okay. So knowing that every single person on the planet is thinking like that, you need to be speaking to that person in, in, in their position, right? So if it's a manager, I need to be pitching this guy on the idea that, you know, listen, man, your salespeople are going to get you to get the, the pay raise that you're looking for. Your salespeople, when they sell more, they're going to get you to make more money. You got kids? Yeah, you got kids. Who's going to put them through school? Okay. Not you. Your salespeople are going to put them through school. That's why we created a program. It's called Cardone On Demand. It's currently right now getting dealers an extra million bucks a year every single year in their store on simple things like follow-up, closing, negotiating. Okay. The only reason that you guys aren't doing a better job at it right now is because you don't have a program to do it every single day. And that's what I'm calling you about. I'm calling you about some, some nitrous oxide for like, or not nitrous oxide. I'm talking about some nitro for your guys' business. I'm talking about some steroids. You ever taken steroids, sir? Okay. You haven't? Well, I'm about to give you some. Okay. These are called sales steroids. Okay. This is called top line steroids. Okay. This is how you get more deals, which helps you make more money. So I want to show you the program, but I know you're probably going to take this to John. Listen, you're the most important person in this deal. I need you to be interested in this deal. Can you give me five minutes? I'm going to run you through it on the website. If you don't see enough value in that five minutes, I'll hang up on myself. And, you know, I'm sure you'll know what to do from there. Okay. At that point, I'm taking the guy to a front door, pitching the shit out of him on having success with his people and just thinking about how does this guy make money? And I'm going to sell the whole thing to this guy making more money. You know, the business owner cares about retention and CSI scores and growth and expansion. All the money he makes goes into buying more stores, you know, or, or to something else, you know. And, and the manager, the manager has a whole different life. He's like, he's trying to buy his dream house. Okay. The sales guy is trying to get out of his apartment into a house. Okay, so... The sales guy is trying to get out of a freaking bad car deal that he did just to get the store a deal one month and into like a nice car. I mean, he's still driving a garbage car. He's like, I got to, you know what I mean? So like, I'm going to sell people to like what they're interested in. And that's how you get them pumped up. You know, like the things I'm interested in, they're different than what Jared and it's different than what Grant's interested in, you know? So like people buy things to solve problems, you know? And the managers are easy because they can agree they can agree with everything you say. You're like, dude, salespeople, they never listen to you. He's like, Amen, brother. And I'm like, Yeah, that's right. Salespeople, dude, missing deals left and right. Okay, they can't even go through the five step process. Yeah, that's right. You know, like I'm looking for things to to be in agreement with. Conrad, what do you got? Good. Quick question. You're talking about the automotive industry at the beginning, like it's flattening out. Are you talking about the margins or just like the margins are getting less or what? Well, like the industry, you know, like, you know, there was like a, a, a an eight, nine year period where like things were just freaking riding up, dude. Like things were hot, businesses were growing, sales were higher than they'd ever been before. And then now it's kind of like just flattening off and they're not seeing that like big growth. Do what? That's like happened in recently, last couple of years. Yeah, I, mean, I think it's been happening for like a year or two. And then um, with the margins thing, that's like a big thing for dealers right now. They're just, the guys are just giving away cars pretty much. Well, dude, the internet, the internet came out. They've had margin compression since the internet. So, you know, 15 years ago, I mean, like I couldn't shop six stores at one time. That's why people went to six stores back in the day. Cause they're like, Hey, I got to make sure I get the best deal. You know? They'd get sick of going around. They're like, fuck it, for 30 bucks a month, did I just do a deal with this guy? You know what I mean? Today, I can shop six stores on my phone, get the best price, get their interest rates, get their warranty, find out who it is. I can text the people, do the deal there on my phone, you know, all while I'm doing something totally different. You know, I can do it all right here. So what happens to margins, dude? Margins, they're going all the way down. So the dealer, so the dealer makes all their money in the service department today. The sales department isn't a big money maker like back in the day, dude. They would make a lot of high gross, you know. 
God make two grand, four grand, eight grand. Like they tell, they tell you that they make two thousand, three thousand dollars in profit. Dude, the pack, just the pack alone is like twelve hundred bucks on a deal. I mean, you got the plus, plus, plus on that shit. You know, for them to put the whole deal together, it's like, I mean, they're making five hundred bucks on a car. Sometimes, you know, sometimes they'll do a deal, a car deal, and they don't make any money. They do that all month long. You know, just to get a used car, maybe try to make some vehicles or to maybe gain a customer and earn their service business, you know, because now they can make some money on them in service. So, you know, you really got to think about, dude, what's the dealer thinking about? Now, salespeople aren't thinking about that. The, um, the manager, the manager doesn't necessarily probably think about that stuff. Maybe a little bit because their pay plan is like based off that, but they're probably more based off like volume and like total deals and th their people like getting more. So you got to think about like, dude, what does this guy actually care about? You know what I mean? Cool, man. Appreciate you. The man, Steve. <laughs> you guys are going to be ninjas. You, you, guys, you guys are going to be ninjas. Okay. So. Now that I did this free sales meeting for you, I need appointments from you guys. Okay. I need deals. Okay. I need Kyle to be writing me a $10,000 US paycheck every single month. Okay. I want to buy a Ferrari with the money that you guys helped me make. And I want to put a big fucking maple leaf on the front of it, dude. And I'm going to represent down here in Miami. <laughs> yeah. hey. Okay. I'm going to let, I'm going to let people know who's got my money, you know? <laughs> so, dude, here, here's the deal guys. Here's, let, let me, let me tell you something. Like if you guys aren't passing deals off, I know you guys do a lot of deals on your own. You need to like check, Hey, are you, are you getting these deals? Like I didn't do that in the beginning of my career. So if you think you're like good enough to like do all the deals yourself, I, like check, like, am I getting the deals though? You know? And so like, for me, like the way I, I did well, like I asked for a lot of help, you know? I was always asking Jared for help, man. I was always asking Jared questions all the time. Jared, what, hey, you know, like always asking, always. I'm still asking questions all the time, you know. That, same thing Mike did. Same thing Bonnet did when he got here. Dude. The, I mean, the, the guy asked a lot of questions, you know. He asked for a lot of help too, you know. So, like, if you let your ego get in the way of, like, these deals, and it, it, this isn't you, – you don't have to give it to me. And I don't even know really what's happening up there, but I'm just saying, if that is happening for you, I would really check and find out like, dude, like, man, could, could, could we do better, you know, with the more of a group thing rather than just more of like an individual thing. So, I mean, I've seen that in my office a lot. So uh, I don't know what you guys see, but let's get more appointments. Let's make America and Canada great again. Okay. Let's open up the floodgates. Okay, let's get Brian Rand some, repre Go, some representation up there. You guys need a on, you guys need a Canadian unicorn. You don't have yeah. one yet. I don't even know. I don't even know. This guy broke one record. It's the only thing he talks about. Okay, that's what you guys should be doing. Okay, this this guy broke one record that probably wasn't even official because we never looked at it until the same year he started, and he fucking tells everybody about it. And that's exactly what you guys should be doing, man. It's people know him for that shit. You know, that's why you guys got all these car dealers. Every car dealer is number one. Look at this, dude. All, all, yeah. My, my client sent me this. <laughs> see, 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 he does it right. You know, you guys go to the dealerships. They're number, every dealership's number one in something. You ever, you ever notice that? Everybody tells you, oh, well, we're number one in mobile. Blah. It's like, God damn, dude. It's like everybody, wait, the last 12 calls I was on, they said they were number one. How the, how does that happen? <laughs> you know, like you'd find your story. You know, find your story, pitch your deal, like be sold on you. Certainty, man. Freaking dude. Mm, I love you guys. All right. Have a good night. Thanks, Thanks, dude. Dude. Thanks, dude. Later. Yeah.